I'm your presenter Chizito Adishan On today's episode of my vocation story, we will be having Father Pochano Molena of St. Teresa Parish, the parish priest of one in Pumala, Zimbabwe. Let's go! Who is Father Pochano Molena? The Catholic priest, Pochano Molena of Bosco. Um, he is coming from the family of uh, five, two male and uh, three female. Um, I've served in the church in different capacities. Currently, I'm the dean of uh, the urban deanery. At the same time, I'm, I'm the parish priest of St. Teresa and also a uh, spiritual uh, animator or director of uh, St. Anne in the Deanery, uh, Catholic Charismatic Renewal in the Diocese, and uh, the Serenian Cooperators. When did you start thinking of becoming a priest? Well, way back when I was in the Mass Silver, but that is when I thought of started thinking of becoming a priest because it, that time we had the, this priest he was a family friend to, to the family and uh, most of the time he used to come uh, to visit the family and he used to give a lot of encouragement and uh, when I went to the secondary school actually the vocation grew thinking of becoming a priest grew in me uh, because we had also a Slavian priest who is uh, Joseph Kevich and uh, Joseph Kofron, who were like the, the spiritual directors of all the vocation club members. So we used to go for camping and you know the playing guitars, you know, Silesian way. So that inspired me a lot. And especially when I came to Baulen Parish in St. Martha's Number Parish in Osaka. That is when I found again Father Joseph Wyshukiewicz and this one. There was a Sunday which is the Epiphany Sunday. So we were three of us in a company of three. So he asked us what we learned during home and what we could remember. My fellow two uh, friends, they couldn't remember anything. I was surprised that I, on that day I paid attention and I remembered what was preached. And I explained to the priest and he was so happy with me. That's why later he had to ask me what I wanted to do. I said I want to become a priest and he emphasized that I had a Slavian spirit. So he encouraged me also and he gave me some books of the Bosco of which I developed a lot of interest and from there I applied and I was accepted to become a priest. How did your family react when you told them about your decision of becoming a priest? Uh, well, my parents, something which they were expecting all the time, it was not a surprise to them because they saw how I was committed because my parents actually, both of them were Ledger of Mary and, uh, and because of my commitment to change and uh, pr pr praying with them with Rosary every evening, so the way I was devoted, you saw that they knew that there is something in this child which he can do in future. So when I told them, so they will come to the idea and they even supported me, except some cousins and aunts and uncles who did not understand, but we explained to them and they came to understand finally. What are some challenges you faced in your seminary life and how did you overcome it? Well, there were quite a number of challenges, you know, especially that it is an international 
and seminaries whereby from different countries you come together as seminarians. It wasn't easy because there was some kind of cultural shock whereby the way of life, it wasn't the same as I knew when I was growing. So that one wasn't so easy. Actually, that's why in the future, I can think of to study mission, which can help me how to live with other people uh, and how we can uh, accept one another. So uh, that uh, cultural shock, and especially the language, whereby some were speaking different languages, which we could not understand, especially in Tanzania at that time, uh, Swahili, we didn't know Swahili. So during that time, it wasn't easy because you may think as if you may be they were talking against you and yet they, they meant well in their conversation. But since you could not understand, it was something which was somewhat like a challenge. But anyway, later I came to accept and now uh, later I came to accept and uh, through prayers and uh, that spiritual accompaniment, uh, I was able to understand and to cope up. Which Catholic saint has always been an inspiration? Uh, from the beginning it was St. Francis of Assis. Because uh, this St. Francis of Assis is actually the first time when I watched the video. I, I even cried because I was very much touched. Looking at uh, the way he, he handled the family pressure, wanted him to succeed the wealth of the family. And also when he experienced this stigma attack. So when I looked at these two events in his life, I was very touched and even had to cry. But later when I joined the, the Salesians, I came again to love Don Bosco, especially the way he was handling the young people, the way he was making bad boys to become good boys and through his approach, the preventive system and all that of which I see that this is very important and from there I also enjoy and like our founder, Bosco. What is your inspiration to the young people aspiring to be religious? The inspiration, I would say that, you know, since I like singing and I normally whenever I'm with young people, I will introduce them to singing and I will also encourage them always to sing the word of God, to dance the word of God, to make sure that indeed the word of God helps them to transform their life because you know they are in the search of identity and the word of God which can help them to, to realize their dreams. So this is what I, I would say. What is your encouragement to all those young people struggling to continue on their vocation of choice? My encouragement is that they should never give up. They should be courageous in life because nothing is easy in life. And they say that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, my encouragement is that you never give up. They should be uh, always courageous and uh, make sure that uh, they find especially accompaniment in life, somebody who can accompany them so that they are being helped uh, to, to, to be focused in life and uh, to make sure that uh, their dreams are realized. Thank you for your time, Father Pansha. Thank you, thank you so much. Inspiring, isn't it? We are closing our program. You have been with me, Jesus, or Alicia Lord. I wish you all Easter blessings and good luck on your vocation. Please subscribe on our channel and like. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a blessed week.